care was not the secret we all shared. So at the Cumbre de los Pueblos, the civil society and activist space during the 25th Climate Change Conference of Parties in Madrid, the COP, in 2019, I opened a conversation about the need for care in, for movement organizers and justice workers and what challenges our ability to center care in our justice work. The COP is generally a structurally violent space. And in this particular COP, I experienced physical harm from a police officer who kicked me to get me to move during one of our protests. I tracked what mine and comrades' responses were after wow. this, both appreciating the care that came through an Orisha dance class I signed up for, incense, conversation space, but also noticing that our collective capacity in terms of skills, time, energy, and attention were rather low in, um, to be able to respond adequately. The next year, of course, 2020 brought COVID and a global movement for Black Lives that started in the USA. And both of these uh, brought the conversation on care to the forefront um, of the global stage. On a personal note, myself, um, sickness had me step into a caregiver role for parents and other family members. And this led me to pause on work and other personal projects. Um, I invite you to consider what if we didn't invisibilize the care without which we would not be here. Within this micro and global context, I began to write a series of essays reflecting on different facets of care as I was experiencing them, drawing from the soil of an East African woman's life alongside seeking out tools and skills in order to care more effectively. In a colonial world that has laid to waste the diversity of life worlds that were interwoven with care, reskilling our care becomes a path of restoring these pluriversal worlds. So the 22 essays that I eventually ended up writing over a span of four years go beyond a narrow definition of care as only about feeling good in a one-sided or individualistic way as promoted by the wellness industrial complex. It steps into the muddy ground, the conjuntura from which we stand stargazing and constellation making. In the zine, in the essays, I draw links between self and collective care between care by and for the more than human, care that engages the often difficult to allow emotions such as grief, anger, helplessness, and so on. And these often emerge while we are doing justice work. Um, I reflect on intergenerational care, care with the ancestors. I address the fatigue that has begun to creep in when people hear about care in an essay titled, Care for What? Why Bother? For example and with other essays such as self and collective care fractals, I explore how to ripple out care through spaces touched by fractals of violence and apply an indigenous African informed philosophy of regeneration to sense how we might shape our care practices. I reflect on the centrality of care to thriving collaborations and weave dream imagery and spirit led storytelling to remember and acknowledge that care, as my ancestors spoke to me, runs through the fabric of the universe, upholding all. Suffice it to say, the journey of writing this zine was incredibly healing for me. In addition to essays, the zine um, braids three other strands, images by illustrator Tarini Manchana, and I'll show a slide uh, show of images in a bit care principles drawn from these essays and short care practice invitations mm -hmm. that invite us to land the essay meditations in the body, in the heart, in the spirit, and in our relationships, our organizations, our families, and our movements. So where are we at now with the zine project? Braiding a basket, regenerative beyond capitalist care. We have a prototype format um, all the content is ready and the prototype format kind of looks like this. I'm just going to demonstrate. Um, I will demonstrate perhaps with these two. This is just a two fold zine. This is an A4 page and the, it has a title page. The essay itself is written in the middle. Um, it could continue here if there was more. And the middle is a pullout poster that you can hang up, for example. And this can exist in both this size, this um, folds into an A6, or this that began as an A3 format 
Um, this is actually the master zine, and which opens up. You know, it's an A3 format. It folds down into an A5 format. And so imagine a deconstructed book, a deck of zine cards like these ones that allow you to pull out one or all of the zine cards as you wish to read, engage a practice, to rest in the images, to color, to journal, or to activate a collective conversation around care. You could choose to acquire one or some or all of the cards as is accessible, and they are also very incredibly passable on. So at this moment, we have this prototype, we have the content, and we need to find a graphic designer who will support us with layout um, and also the funds to pay for that graphic designer to support us with layout and the fast publication run. I would love at this point to just show you some of the images that give you a sense of um, the zine as it is now or some of the images. Um, is this working? Hmm. Um, no, I don't think that is working. Oh, we did see some images. Yes, let's see if I can. I needed them to scroll as a slideshow. Okay. I think let's go with this. Let's try this. So these are some of the images. Um, it's also not doing what I needed to do. I think that might be it. So I will stop the share. We have one and minute. In this one minute, I'd just love to say that for after these years of working on this zine, it has been a labor of love, a labor of care, um, a whole like journey and process. And where we are at now, we'd love for this zine to come out into the world to continue to activate conversations beyond just this being that these conversations have been happening with myself, the more than human who support my life. Um, and to actually invite us all to recenter care so that care stops being that secret that we all share. I think care is what, um, as, as I mentioned, care runs through the whole universe and animates all of our beings. Without care, we would not be here if we made it to this place people cared for us, um, both human and more than human. And so this zine just tries to bring this reality to the front um, and to the center of our movements, our justice work, our educational um, practices, and so on and so forth. And so that's it from me. Mm -hmm.